Hello everybody, here's my mama and she's gonna be making her strawberry fudge today. And it's just like a peanut butter fudge or chocolate fudge, but it's a little bit different. And she's gonna show y'all all the ingredients. Every, here's everything that you'll need, but she's gonna walk you through it now, step by step and show you how to make it. The first thing we do is uh, we uh, put uh, butter or margarine, this is margarine, on the plate. My mom always called everything butter. Was in a stick form? or whatever it was butter, whether it was margarine or what. But this is um, margarine, not butter. I have butter sometimes, but this is my mar uh, margarine, and I'm gonna butter the bottom of my platter with it. And this is just to get it to not stick. Yeah. So, we do this. Like that. And then I start my mixing. Um, you've seen us do the peanut butter and the vanilla or cream cheese, which was it? I think it was vanilla and so, then the chocolate. Yeah, and the chocolate. So today we're gonna be doing the strawberry and the chocolate. And we'll probably have to add a little bit of red to make it look pinkish like that, to be like strawberries. If you haven't seen the other one that she's talking about, the uh, vanilla or the the chocolate one or the regular peanut butter fudge, all those recipes is on the playlist. It says my mama's secret recipes. You can find them all there. And uh, I like to use a little bit more peanut butter than the strawberry. So we're gonna use just about this much of peanut butter. It's a big jar. How, how much is that? I don't have my glasses uh, on. Can't see it either. Oh, it's 40 ounces. It's a two pounds. Yeah. So you use almost every bit of it. Put it in your bowl, and then we uh, put the icing in there, and we microwave it. And it was real good. I had never done it before, but it was really good. So. And if you like the strawberry flavor more, you can make a one-to-one -one ratio. Uh-huh, yeah. Like one cup of peanut butter, or one cup of icing, or frosting. Yeah, it's cake icing, is what it is. So, we'll do this, and then we'll put all this in there, all the strawberry. And when we take it out, if it's not, uh, if it don't look like strawberry, because that's what we're making, the strawberry fudge, we'll uh, put a little bit of that dye in it. Smells good. Yeah, and this is one full tub of the, uh, Strawberry frosting. Yeah. Pull that, put it all together like this, and that's what it is, the Pillsbury. Yeah, it's one pound. So. And this is a two pound, so if you use uh, this whole thing and you use that whole thing, it'll be a two to one ratio. You use two parts of this and one part that. Uh-huh. So, here we go. Let's I'm gonna put it in the microwave right now. And while it's uh, heating up in the microwave, I'm gonna show you all this. We finally got the cookbooks made. This is what it's gonna look like. It says love, I'll let Mama show you and uh, talk about it. Yeah, we went yesterday and got our uh, our cookbooks. It, uh, I was wanting the pictures of the food in there, but uh, the pictures was uh, blurry, so she didn't use them, uh, but she will. We'll be putting another one out probably with the, if this one sells good, that is. And in front it tells me and Corey's story, how we got started doing this. And it's got a picture of Little Miss in here. Baby pictures of Corey. And then me and Papa. And then when we had that community hot dog uh, uh, free giveaway down to uh, the church, these was the ones that helped me in the, uh, hot dog sale. Oh, what in the sale, hot dog give out. It's got uh, the index. Yeah. And then it starts with the main dishes. And I think there's 70 some recipes in here. I think's what it is. Is that what she said? I think so. Yeah. It might be a little bit more or a little bit less, but it's a, yeah. it's close to a hundred recipes. See, and that was page 89 there. Oh, okay. So this is a sparrow one. But uh, 
There it is. And no, they're uh, not hardback or nothing, but the the pages are laminated. Yeah, they're thick pages. They're it's laminated. like a plastic filling uh, pages. So it's kind of like a laminated almost, I think. Yeah. So that's what we got, and we'll be selling them for thirty dollars a piece. And uh, Corey uh, will tell you how to do it. So get my candy out of the microwave, Corey did. Yeah, it was boiling, so I went ahead and had to get it out. Yeah, oh man, it was, wasn't it? So, we get a talking and we forget about stuff. Yeah, while but, she's mixing that in, I'll explain it to y'all how to yeah. order the cookbooks. Well, the only way that we could think of to do it right off without having like a third party website, and we would have to pay the website to put the cookbooks on there and stuff like that. And then we would have to receive the money through them. It would just be really complicated and and stressful to go through a whole nother person. So the only way that we could think of really to do it is if y'all would send the envelope with the money in it and uh, say in the envelope that you want a cookbook or you want an apron or a t-shirt because we got aprons and t-shirts too. But mainly right now we're just trying to uh, talk about the cookbooks and they're $30. So if y'all send an envelope and it has, it has to have your address in there too. So you put the $30 in your address in there and just say it's for the cookbook and we'll send you a cookbook out. And we might throw uh, something extra in there too. If we can have like a pins or bracelets or something like that and we'll put a thank you card or something in there with it to go with it. Yeah. So it's not just this. And, and, and we'll pay the postage. Yeah, we'll pay the uh, shipping fee. So it's yeah. no shipping, it's just a 30 for the book. Yeah, so this is our first cookbook we ever done. So, and we didn't really know how to go about doing it. So this woman, uh, Somebody in Texas uh, uh, got in contact. I can't think of her name now. But anyway, she got in contact. She was the one that sent me my uh, cookbook free to me. And it had all my pictures. It was hardback and it was real nice. And I was wanting to fix one kind of like that, but uh, uh, they done them like this. So uh, I like it, you know, pretty good. So it's not hardback, but this is nice. So uh, that's how we uh, got in contact to get our books made through her. And it was a lot of work. I'd never done this before. A lot of uh, uh, getting on a computer and something I don't hardly ever get on and writing all my recipes out and send them to her. And then I had to get my other grandson down here to uh, send them to her. And then finally we just had to meet because I didn't know how to do all that. <laughs> so, but we're learning little by little, you know. Uh, and if you was wondering the, uh, the address that you'd have to send to the envelope to and the money to it's yeah. this here's the p.o box if you send it to this address but make sure to put your address on the inside and we'll send you this book back and maybe a little something extra we'll throw in there with it yeah. and we'll send it back to your address yeah but i'll hold it still here for just a minute so you could picture it or pause it or write it down whatever you want to do and if you send us that address we'll send you a book back yeah so that's the only way we know how to do it you know so that's our cookbook. And uh, now here's our candy and it's done been melted. So we go add a little bit of food color to it. So it kind of looked like strawberries, you know. And this is red uh, food coloring. We didn't have no pink or nothing. We just had a red, so. Yeah. And this let's see how, well, it's starting to hard up on me now, but let's hurry up and do it. It's got, it's gonna have a little bit of strawberry in it. So it'll be the pinkish like, but not a whole lot. So, you want me to put it back in the microwave? So there it is. Now we can just go ahead and pull it in here. So we're going to go ahead and dip it because it's getting thick. And and then we just smooth it out. It's got some red tint to it to look like strawberries in it. Yeah, it's hard to tell on the camera. On the camera, it just looks brown, but in person, it is red. Yeah. It's like a reddish, pinkish color. Yeah. So we just do that, and it's already starting to hard up to get firm. So it won't take no time to have it that we can cut it. On the camera, it just looks like a regular uh, peanut butter oh, fudge. Really? Yeah. But it's pinkish tip. 
but you have to hurry up and do it because it starts getting firm real fast. So there's our strawberry fudge. And then you just put it in the... Smells good. You put I'm it in the... It. <laughs> the old taste test. Mm -hmm. It has that strawberry taste, yeah. Yep, it's strawberry, so this is our strawberry fudge. And we'll, I guess we'll let it set up in the refrigerator for probably five or 10 minutes, and we'll come back, and that way you can see Mama will slice it for y'all, how she slices it, and then we'll end the video. But we'll be right back. We love y'all, and yes, God bless y'all. We'll see y'all here in just a second. All right, we're back, y'all, and it's uh, fully done now, and she's gonna cut it for y'all. Yeah, here we go. It's been in the freezer for probably 10 minutes, maybe. It's still a little bit soft. We'll cut little pieces so they won't be so big. <laughs> Smells like strawberries. Scrappy in there. He's barking at Pawpaw because he wants Pawpaw to pick him up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, him Pawpaw goes around and around in there. I've been trying to film him uh, talking to Milton, but he quits when I start filming him. He'll shake that head and everything. But here we go. Something else that I meant to tell y'all about the cookbooks is if y'all want us to sign them, just we'll sign the back of it. Just let us know in the in your letter if you if you send the money and you was gonna buy one and you want us to send you one. Just let us know if you want us to sign it and we'll sign it for you. Yeah, I forgot about that. Here it is. It's all done. It's real soft. And that's why I like mine. Strawberry taste. Mm-hmm. It's good. Uh, if you make it the old-fashioned way, which uh, Mama does have her old-fashioned recipe too, it's on the playlist. It says all video or my Mama's secret recipes, and you she has her old-fashioned fudge recipe there. But for some reason, all everybody's old-fashioned recipe and the the old-timey way to make it, it always ends up like powdery and like brittle almost, and it's just completely different. And when you make it like this, it's like really creamy. Mm -hmm. It just creamy. melts in your mouth. Yeah. Um, Me personally, I like it a lot better like this. Mm-hmm. It's good like this. And it's soft. Mm. Smooth. So I'm almost going to read y'all a few scriptures now. And pray for y'all in the prayer book. If y'all yeah. have any prayer requests, let us know in the comments. And uh, it goes into this book here. And she yeah. pray over this book. She prays over it every day and every night. Yeah, I think about y'all all the time, how good y'all are to us, and all the ones that needs prayer. I ask the Lord to take care of you, you know, heal you, give you whatever your need is. Let me get my glasses out. Because God is a prayer answering God, and, but he answers on his time. We have to wait on him, you know. He knows what's best for us. But today I'm going to be in uh, Malachi, the third chapter. And I'm going to talk about the faithful few. And this is the Lord's promise of mercy. It says, Then they that feared the Lord spoke often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels. And I will spare them, as a man spareth his own son, that serveth him. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth God and him that serveth him not. Yeah, when God comes back in that day, he's going to know who's his. You know, and he'll be taking them to be with him, but the, the wicked is going to go to hell, you know, or go through the tribulation. Yeah, when he comes back and takes the saints out, and then that's when the tribulation's going to come. You know, and it's going to be worse than anybody ever dreamed of. And it does say that it's going to be a terrible, terrible day. 
And in the commentary, it says, um, the book of remembrance may or may not be an actual book. The point is that God will remember those who remain faithful to him and who love and fear, honor, and respect him. God's jewels are those who are faithful to him. While all this sin and corruption went on, God still considered Israel to be his special people um, who were supposed to love him, honor him, and serve him. This, for, this fulfills the promise he had made in his covenant with his people. All believers are God's very own treasured possessions. That's all, that includes us too. Not only Israel, but it includes everyone that believes in him and trusts us in him. It says, even on your worst day, you can be assured that God knows who you are and that he loves you. He treasures his relationship with you. Yeah, we have to have a personal relationship with God, you know, and talk to him and he and he will answer prayer and he and he does talk to us, you know. But uh, at nighttime when I go to bed or something, uh, I'll wake up and God will be telling me scriptures or something, you know, to teach on or to, uh, you know, tell the people about. But God does talk to you and he listens to every prayer and he does answer every prayer, you know. But we just have to be true and faithful to him. Hold on to him because one day after a while he is coming back and he is going to take the true and faithful ones, the ones that trust in him and believe in him and do his calling, what he asks, asks us to do, to pray and be faithful to him. You know, and we're going to be the ones that goes back with him. Don't you want to be the one that goes back with him? If you uh, don't know the Lord, I just ask you right now to uh, ask the Lord to come into your heart Tell him you're sorry and forgive you of your sins and he will forgive your sins and then you can be a child of God. Then you just go in his word, start reading his word every day and talk to him every day, pray to him every day. You know, every morning when you get up, say, Lord, what do you have me to do today? Every night before you go to bed, you talk to him and it's good to be in the word too. You either read the word of the morning, uh, it'll give you a good start and at night before you lay down and you can sleep in peace. You know, so right now I'm going to be praying for all the ones that send in prayer requests. Dear Lord Jesus, we just come to you this evening, Lord, or this morning, Lord, thanking you for another day, Lord. And Lord, just ask you to touch the YouTube family out there, Lord Jesus. You see each need, Lord. Uh, Lord, ask you to meet their need, Lord Jesus. Surround them with your love and your mercy, Lord. Uh, help them to hold on to you, Lord, knowing that one day after a while, there will be no more sorrows, no more tears, Lord, because we'll be with you. Uh, Lord, and anybody that don't know you, Lord, touch their heart and their minds, Lord Jesus, that they'll want to serve you, Lord. Draw them into you, Lord, in your mighty name, Lord. Let them see that they need you, Lord. Lord, I just praise you. I love you. I just thank you for everything, Lord. You've been so good to us down through the years, Lord. And I just thank you for our YouTube family, Lord. Lord, I ask you to help them to, to trust in you and to hold on to you, Lord, in all things, Lord. In your mighty name we pray, Lord. And I give you the love and the honor that's due you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So y'all have a good day. Talk to the Lord. Ask him, what do you want me to do today, Lord? Show me what you want me to do. And an answer will come, you know. So every day he gives us a, a challenge to do something, to witness to somebody or to do something for him. You know, whatever it may be, might be go visit an elderly person that's lonely. You know, go witness to them, talk to them. They just, or you can sit and listen to them because they lo love to tell their stories, you know, and, and talk about the past, talk about their families and stuff. Just go and listen to them, you know. Give them a good day and you'll be blessed by it. I love you. Y'all take care. Amen. Amen. That's all for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And... Y'all let us know in the comments if y'all plan to buy a cookbook or if, or if y'all just like to see them or anything y'all want to comment. It's fine. We love reading y'all's comments. Yes, we love we reading y'all's letters and everything that y'all do for us. We really appreciate it and we love y'all so much for everything y'all do for us. Amen. And I try my best to answer uh, y'all's comments when I get on there and I start going down the comments. I, uh, some of them want to pray or something. I try to answer them. If I can't, it's because I can't get it to come on, you know. So, and, and then I just go on to the next one. Some of them I can answer, and some of them I can't. I don't know why, but that's that's the way it's been. 
But I do love y'all, and if I can't answer you uh, on your comments, then I always remember you in my prayer book. I always put your name down here. So y'all have a good day. Love every one of you. Well, that's all for this one. We love y'all. God bless y'all. We'll see y'all in the next one.